Welch Village is a small Midwest ski resort in Minnesota with an elevation of 10,060 feet, a vertical drop of 360 feet, 125 skiable acres, and on average only gets 45 inches of snow a season, so you're not really going to get any powder days there unless you're really lucky. Now this is our resort review series where we go to a brand new ski resort, we absolutely rip it, we shred it, we have an incredible time there, and then we come back here and we give it a score from 0 to 100. The way we're going to get that score is by going over 10 categories. Each category is going to get a score from 0 to 10. 10. Zero is not apical, meaning they don't have it at all. One is terrible, five is average, and 10 is best in the world. Now that's just how we rank these places. This is how we're gonna do it. But at the end of the video, we will give it a score from zero to 100, but I'm also gonna tell you who this resort is for. So make sure you listen to the very end so you know if this resort is for you and your family or you and the boys. Now let's jump into the first category, lift prices. How expensive is it to ski at Welch Village? And coming in at $74 for the day, I thought that was pretty steep, honestly, for a resort of this size and caliber. I was like, $74, oof, that's kind of heavy. So when it came to lift prices, I gave them a three on the lift prices. Now lodging, ski in, ski out, can you stay at Welch Village? And sadly you cannot, but they do on their website have recommended places to stay. So whenever a resort does that, we give them a one for lodging. Now ease of access, how easy is it to get to Welch Village? Well, you're not in the mountains, you're in the Midwest. You got the country roads, the super easy driving. If you did want to fly here and go there, you can fly into Minneapolis and then you have an hour drive to the ski resort, which is really good. So when it came to ease of access, I gave them a six for ease of access. Super easy ski resort to get to. Now, if you're wondering why we came to this ski resort or why we went to so many other ski resorts, it's because we have this crazy goal to ride every single ski resort in the United States, and you guys can track our progress by going to resortskimaps.com. This is a resort map of every single resort in the United States. All the green snowboarders are the places we have been to. You can click on them and watch the videos from our travels there. If you click on a red snowboarder, nothing will pop up because we haven't been there yet. You can see where we're going to be this upcoming season by checking out our resort calendar. That's going to have all of our trips planned for this upcoming season. Resortskimaps.com is literally the coolest place for just interacting with the resorts that are in the United States or across the world. I use Resort Ski Maps to plan all of our ski trips, which is really rad. So check out resortskimaps.com. Now lifts, we got to get up the mountain and they have a ton of options for us with eight chair lifts and two surface lifts. One of the surface lifts being a tow rope for the terrain park, which is super rad, but their lifts are great. They have a bunch kind of close to each other that will help with, I'm assuming, overflow a lot of people. That tends to happen in the Midwest as you get these resorts that will get a huge long lift line. So them having eight lifts on a busy weekend, they can run all of them, get everybody up the mountain and get you where you want to be was super nice so I gave them a five for chairlifts but we got up now we got to get down how are their runs and with 60 runs that's a lot but sadly they're all super short 360 vertical drop is like it's not a lot so the runs are quick and fast and over one thing they do really interesting is they help make moguls or they push snow we showed up like right after they pushed them they were the funniest weirdest things we've ever ridden you got to check this clip out <laughs> <laughs> what was that? But overall, we did find some fun stuff to play around with. Jumped off some like weird dirt piles and things. It was a good time. Their runs were okay. I gave them a three for their runs. Terrain Park, normally in the Midwest, this is what stands out. And sadly, their park was closed. They didn't open until later in the day, which is kind of a super bummer. I thought they just the tow rope would turn on at one, but they also don't open the park till one. I'm assuming the park crew probably also runs the lift. But from what I could see from the side, but also what I've seen online, it looks like they build a pretty rad park. So I give them a five for the park, but I need the locals to comment down below. Is the park sick? Is it worth a five? Is it higher than a five? Lower than a five? You gotta let us know. Now, if you're enjoying this video or any of my videos and you wanna support the dream, consider snagging an evolution sticker. We do a ski version for all the skiers out there. Grab the sticker, throw it on the side of your head, let everyone know you are part of Team Hawk House. Obviously, we have t-shirts and all other kinds of merch. If you do snag any of the merch, just make sure you tag me on Instagram, and I'll give you guys gear and sticker shouts in the vlogs like I'm doing, but we're also following back one person a week that is snagging the merch and tag me on Instagram, so you could get all of that. Now food, 
food I didn't eat there because we showed up really early, but also everything online, they didn't have any photos or anything. And then I saw this section that was like, hey, we might be open, or only open these days. Like if we don't have staff, it's not gonna be open. So the food option at Welch Village seems very hit or miss. You might not actually get food there. So I gave them a four, they do have a, a lodge option. Once again, I need the locals to help me out on this, fill in that information about the lodge food because we just didn't end up eating there. So I gave them a four, being generous. We need to know. And then views and scenery. It was kind of a cloudy day when we were there, but you could see a little bit in the distance, but let's be real, we're in the Midwest. We all know what those views and scenery look like. It's just a bunch of woods forever. The best view at the Midwest is, is a sunset view. So when it came to views and scenery, I gave them a two for views and scenery. Now employees, we cover employees because they can make or break your day on the mountain. You can get an employee that just gives you skis that are too big and boots that don't fit you and you have a bad time or they can go above and beyond make sure your snowboard's the perfect snowboard for you and the boots fit and everything like that and you have a great vacation. I know personally I had an experience at Keystone that would ruin anyone's trip. You can check out that video right there and that's why we cover employees. Now the employees were pretty awesome. The ones that we did hang out with, like some showed up and rode with us on the mountain which was really cool. We also interacted with them and got tickets. Overall, they were great people so I gave them a six when it came to employees. They were awesome. Awesome. Now the last category, the would I go back factor, because if I want to go back to a ski resort, why would I recommend it to you guys? And Welch Village got a three on the would I go back. I'd, I'd like to go check out their park, but overall like that mountain, I don't need to go back there and rip any of those runs. None of the runs stood out to me and made me want to go back. The people were red, but overall a three on the would I go back. If you're enjoying this review or you want to see if I reviewed your ski resort, you can check out the resort review playlist right here or you can go on to resortskimaps.com and we have a list of all of their rankings in order so you can see what resort got the best score of all time. Now Welch Village, out of 100, what score did they get? They got a subscribe. A 38, which is pretty good. That's like probably exactly what I thought this Midwest resort would get. But what's important is who is this resort for? Obviously beginners, if you're new to skiing and snowboarding, this is an incredible place to learn. And then the park rider, if you want to rip the tow rope and get really good at rails, they do have some jumps, like you're gonna get good at park if you're at this resort. But with all that being said, thank you so much to Milkhouse for shredding with me. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you guys tomorrow in another video. And stay on the channel, we do stuff like this. Damn.